Good morning, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Falkier County Public Schools with another edition of Three Great Things. Uh, these three great things were from last week uh, and they were indeed great. So I wanna start with the um, pumpkin decorating uh, competition at Mary Walter Elementary School. Uh, if you've not been to Mary Walter Elementary recently, um, you should check it out. You'll notice that they've got uh, quite a bit of corn growing and a pumpkin patch and uh, each class um, decorated a pumpkin based on a children's book. And uh, it was pretty amazing, the creativity. And so the, 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 I was fortunate enough to be one of the judges. And um, they were top, the top three were uh, third place was Miss, Miss Hines' class, uh, third grade class, Charlotte's Web, and I believe it was Wilbur was the, uh, the what they decorated the uh, pumpkin around. Second place was Miss, Miss Carol's first grade, grade class, was, which was the rainbow fish. Very brightly colored pumpkin. Uh, looked like a fish, a fat fish anyway. And then first place was Miss Oot's um, second grade class, where the wild things are. So congratulations uh, to all those kids. It was a really fun afternoon. <clears throat> and I was fortunate enough to be able to go there and judge. Um, then there was the Fa uh, Falcon Fun Friday at Fauquier High School. Um, there was a competition this summer between the three high schools um, as part of the Eyes Up, Phone Down campaign in Virginia. And uh, the, the, the school who had the most, demonstrated the most spirit at this event um, won a, won basically won a big party. Um, and it was great. There, there were, um, Carousel was there with their ice cream truck, and they had pizza, and um, a mechanical bull, and an inflatable obstacle course, um, a hippo chow down competition, which was uh, kind of like hung hungry, hungry hippos, but with real people. But it was a great way to kick off the homecoming uh, evening or festivities uh, for Friday night, anyway, at Fauquier High School. It was great, uh, really well done. Hats off to the folks at Falkner High School for pulling that off and having such a great activity to benefit kids. And the uh, Eyes Up, Phones Down uh, challenge. And uh, later that night, Friday night, I went to the uh, Kettle Run Liberty football game at Kettle Run High School. And um, the, this game was played in honor of Caleb Lee, who is a freshman at, at Kettle Run High School, who is battling cancer for the third time. Um, so there was a... a sort of a pre-game um, ceremony, a raffle to, to raise money for the Lee family. And uh, Caleb was able to speak for a couple of minutes uh, to the crowd and thank them. He was very gracious. And, uh, and, and he's just dealing with some awful, awful stuff, but uh, just maintaining this incredibly positive attitude. So um, that was a really neat event. Nice crowd, uh, really good turnout. And I, I guess the most, um, gratifying thing other than the fact that there were folks were rallying around the Lee family to raise money was how well Kettle Run and Liberty, the, the bands, the students, uh, the team kind of rallied together and um, and sort of jointly you know supported this endeavor and I think that's that's really what Falker County Public Schools is all about um, you know they were they were there obviously to play football and to compete against each other but in, in one respect, that took a back seat to what was happening um, in terms of them wanting to help the student who's really going through some tough stuff. So hats off to the students at Liberty, students and staff at Liberty and Kettle Run. I think Liberty went on to win the game, but it was a pretty good game. Um, and um, I think they raised a lot of money for the Lee family, which is great. So hope everyone has a great week. 